We started flying uh, Tiger Moths at Kite uh, Wonderboer. And we had two older aircraft called Afri A A Avro Tutors, which were World War I aircraft. And uh, my course actually successfully destroyed both of them. So, <laughs> so uh, not by me, incidentally, but they, they, were, they were destroyed. And uh, we then went on to uh, Kimberley, where we flew Hartbeerst and, uh, and uh, Hines. They were Hawker aircraft uh, prior to the uh, Hurricane. And, uh, and also prior to the Furies, which became an operational aircraft. And uh, eventually we got our wings there. Mm. I applied to, to go up, up north immediately, and, uh, and then finally off we went. We went to Durban and we went up in a ship, which was the worst part of the whole war for me. It was, it was a ship called the Pulaski, a Polish ship, and it was a dreadful ship. Uh, uh, and we, I presumed that we were going to go to OTU, but we weren't sent to OTU. Three of us were pulled out and we sent straight up to the squadron because they were three short. And so we ended up in five squadron at a place called Sidi Barani. And I saw to my horror that we were going to go flying in an airplane called a Tomahawk, which I'd, I'd never seen before. I had never seen a low wing airplane. I'd never seen an airplane with flaps. I didn't know what a retractable undercart was all about. So. It was extraordinary. Anyway, they, they sent us off, uh, off to this place and uh, when the OC of that squadron was a very well-known pilot in South Africa at that stage, a bit of a hero named Jack Frost, who, uh, when he looked at our logbooks, was absolutely horrified to see what we had just our, our training hours there and no OTU. And he wanted to send us back, but we all got our bended knees going it with him and uh, he, he agreed eventually that we should stay but he wanted us to go up and fly straight away. So we got into this aeroplane <laughs> and it was, an, it was a, a very startling experience because the, that aeroplane flew faster than our heart bears could dive and, and, uh, and it climbed faster than our heart bears could dive so they, they had explained to me that um, when you put flaps down, uh, the aircraft got extra lift and you could fly slower. But when you lifted your flaps, it would sink because it, uh, it would now no longer have that lift. But they didn't tell me how far it would sink. <laughs> so, so, so when I got into this aeroplane and, and, uh, and I flew around a bit and then I came around to take it into land, I actually was at 1500 feet because I, it was so fast compared to anything I'd flown before, I couldn't get my speed down. So, I th and I had my flaps out. So I thought to myself, well, I'll just go around again and tell the chaps I was just ma making a practice landing. And, uh, but I thought to myself, I'd better gain some height if I'm going to take my flaps up because I don't know how far I'm going to sink. <laughs> so I actually climbed some more. And then I decided that I would, I would go right downwind as far as I could go and get the aircraft down near the ground and come in uh, uh, that way and then pull the throttle right back. But what they didn't tell me was that the Tomahawk had a selector, little bit selector lever there, which is selected flaps down or, or uh, oh, undercart down. Like the and, um, and I had selected flaps down and before my flaps were down, I selected wheels down. And unknown to me, that didn't work because the, 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 it bypassed. So I was going so fast, and, but I was only about 100 feet above the ground, that I, that I th thought I'd better throttle right back. So I pulled the throttle right back, fortunately, so everything, red lights started to flash and hooties went off and I knew that my wheels weren't down. The so, Tomahawk also had a big lever on the right-hand side which you had to pump if the wheels didn't come down properly. So I just started pumping. And I managed to get them down just about 10 seconds before I hit the ground. <laughs> and, uh, and I managed to land the aircraft without, without any more damage.
Frost was, was, a, was very uh, poor by the whole thing and uh, made me go up and do another uh, circuit, do a spin. And I gradually got confidence in the aeroplane and I started to land it. So we stayed, all three of us stayed in the squadron and, and, uh, and we went out on operations with the, yeah. with the chaps. How was the, the mood in the squadron? It was very gung-ho, oh. <laughs> if I can put it that way. <laughs> and that was because of the, of the wing commander, Beresford was our wing sweep leader, because we were the only South African squadron in an RAF wing. Mm. And he was the sweep leader. And Frost was exactly the same. Frost went, went into everything flat out. And, uh, and uh, it infected the whole squadron. And that's the way we didn't know any different. Yeah, it was yeah. the only way we knew to go. Yeah, so we, we suffered extreme casualties. Um, Fire Squadron was, was actually, I, I don't think anybody in Fire Squadron, that original Fire Squadron, uh, so came through without being shot, shot up or shot down. Uh, uh, and some of, them, some of them, of course, were killed. And some uh, wounded. Yeah, and some were pushed POW. Yeah. Uh, and some brought home the aircraft and had broken down. So uh, we had all, it was a time when the Germans had superiority in the air, their aircraft were better than ours. We had uh, old hurricanes for in, in, in some squadrons and tomahawks in the other. The Kitty Hawk came along later on, which was a better, a much better tomahawk, so to speak, but not then. And, uh, and it was, uh, Aerial scraps almost every day. Mm. Uh, we did a lot of bomber escorts, mm. and uh, and on top of that, we had to face the flak for the first time because the flak came up for the bomber. So we discreetly moved to the side while the flak came up, <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, then came back in again because we knew the Germans were going to their weren't going to come in while the flak was coming up either. So. Yeah. <laughs>